<clears throat> Good morning, happy Wednesday, day three of week two of the 21 day squat challenge. So your legs may be very sore, maybe right here, maybe right here, maybe your butt, maybe all of the areas. Maybe when you have to go to the bathroom, you're not feeling very happy with me if you're doing the challenge. So make sure that you are doing stretches. You're stretching out, you're drinking plenty of water. Um, you can get some, this is greens mixed with uh, BCAAs, branch chain amino acids. But I drink this during and after my workouts every day um, because one, to get all my greens in for the day, but also the branch chain amino acids help mitigate a little bit of the soreness as well as replace some of the things that you lose in sweating and then water it's mixed with water so you need water drink plenty of water water helps to rebuild the muscle fibers stretch and let me show you something else real quick if you have one of these a foam roller you can foam roll i'm going to tell you that if you've never foam rolled before you're not going to like it. It hurts the first time. It hurts for the first few times. But once you get doing it and you get used to it, it helps to, um, it's, it's just like getting a deep tissue massage, except for you're just doing it yourself. So it rolls that fascia muscle. It helps with that. And it helps with the soreness. So stretch, do some good stretches, hold it, holds and stuff. Hold them static stresses static stretches with holds like 30 to 45 seconds each hold um drink plenty of water if you're really sore you can also take an epsom salt bath and then um foam roll those are the main things to help mitigate the soreness okay so my and some of the good my hip flexors right here are really sore and tight right now um and I, i've already done my elliptical so you can do some hip flexor stretches. You can be on the floor. Um, I'm not going to go all the way down to the floor right now, but where you have this, you can feel the stretch right there in this front hip flex or in this hip flexor, right? And you just put your arm up, and it intensifies that stretch a little bit. It will help loosen that up. Just hold that, and then you just switch it out. Same thing on this side. Make sure you're feeling that stretch right there. Put your arm up and kind of lean in towards the other leg. And you just feel that stretch all up and down that. And it will help. It will help with that. Okay, so we're going to do, I'm only going to do 10. But remember to continue doing the rest of yours after you're done, after I you know, get off of here. And it's my Father in Heaven, have your way and will with me, right? That's this week's verse. So ready? We're gonna go. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. My Father in heaven, have your way and will with me. So there's my 10. I will do my other 60. Now, let me give you a, a, a little, maybe a tip, whatever. Instead of doing 60 or 70 or whatever your number is, all in just doing it over, do like what I do is I do 10. Then I walk around, stretch out my legs a little bit, you know, Feel that stretch right there because this is where I'm feeling it lately. And then I do 10 more. And I do it. And I just break it down in sections of 10 at a time. And it doesn't take that long to get your 70 in if you're doing it like that. If you're trying to do 70 all just one boom boom, you're you're gonna you're gonna be like, oh, this is not for me. And you don't have to take big breaks. I would say less than 30 seconds just walking around. Reset your muscles and go again. Okay, y'all be blessed. I will talk to you tomorrow.